Hey, my name is Michelle. I'm a certified lactation counselor and more recently a mom. And today I wanted to talk to you about some tips for calming a fussy baby. We're gonna talk about a number of techniques that might work for calming your baby. But before trying those, first consider, is my baby hungry? Is she tired? Maybe she has a wet or a dirty diaper? Is she too hot or too cold? It could be one of those things that might help with her fussiness. If you're a breastfeeding mom, you may find that nursing helps to calm baby, and that's great. It's really important that we feed our babies on demand. We want to make sure that baby doesn't require breastfeeding in order to comfort themselves. So whether you're a breastfeeding mom or doing formula, you can try just doing skin to skin time and sometimes that'll calm baby. But I do wanna give you some other techniques that partners or other family members can try so that they can soothe baby and give mom that well-deserved break. This is one of the holds that can be effective in calming baby. By having your left arm like this and making sure that her head and neck are supported with your elbow, um, and you can just kind of put her back towards your stomach and kind of gently move. Sometimes that baby's find that calming. Sometimes baby just wants to lay down and play with her toys or look at a book and just lay on her back for a little bit. So if she doesn't want to be held, just try laying her down for a little bit. A sound machine is another tip that you can try. There are some similar to this that make different sounds that mimic the womb. There's also this one that makes a shushing noise that can be really calming for baby. Sometimes babies can get fussy if they're just kind of bored. So by introducing a new toy, sometimes that's enough to kind of keep their interest for a little while. If you know that baby's not hungry, you can try doing a pacifier to see if that will calm her down. And just some gentle rocking. If you find that nothing's working and you're starting to get frustrated, it's okay to lay baby down as long as it's a safe place, just a flat sheet with nothing else in her crib. It's okay to just lay her down and step back, take a deep breath and count to 10. And then don't be afraid to call friends and family and ask for help if you need to. If you think the baby's sick or if you confirm a fever, it's important that you call your pediatrician immediately. And if you're feeling overwhelmed or have any symptoms of depression or anxiety, it's important for you to call your doctor as well. And just remember, your baby loves you and you're doing a great job.